Joe Nichols and give me that girl on today's country, 103.5 WEZL. And I, we've got a friend from down the hall, uh, the Y Wake Up crew, Megan's here, and I, I wanted to bring her down to per, uh, personally, uh, in public, apologize for giving her the crud during that uh, Red Cross CPR she's, class the other day. She sounds um, worse than you did. It was, it was horrible. Yeah. And, and I'm talking about the CPR class, yeah. not the crud. Uh, well, I mean, she, I, I, she didn't know at the time when she volunteered that I was the one doing the, the you know, class. So it, he was no. the dummy? No. Well, well, leave it alone. Uh, we'll let that one go. Th- th- this young lady here did something really cool the other day. She's She has been known since the day she walked in the building, what, two and a half years ago? How long have you been here? <laughs> two and a half years Six ago. It feels, it feels like that long. Yeah, you, I mean, no, you've, always, you've always been part of my life. Three right? weeks. She's been here three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, you go. Off that there it is. Because when she first, came, out, in, when she first came in, I'd say, uh, that girl with the hair. The girl yeah. with the hair. I mean, because she, she had it... Uh, it was like it was like uh, something from the Brady Bunch. I mean, right down the middle and long, all the way to her hips. I mean, extremely oh, yeah. long extremely. hair. How long has it been since you had it? Over haircut? three years. Really? Mm-hmm. And, it, and it never started as like, I'm going to grow my hair as long as humanly possible. It just kind of happened. And yeah. then it's strange because I've never been really finicky about my hair. And the longer that it grew, the more it became almost like a, a security blanket, as yeah. silly as that sounds. Yeah. And the thought of cutting it would actually cause a lot of emotional anxiety pain. Yeah, and yeah, emotional yeah. distress. But yeah. finally the time came. And uh, you decided to do it for a, for a really good reason, uh, besides uh, the, the seven or eight beers that she had before she made the decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, you decided to cut the hair and give it to Locks of Love. I, I did, which was actually an idea that Kay Hyman gave me from the Charleston Animal Society. Her daughter, Zoe, uh, also did the same thing. And I yeah. said, you know what, if... if, if I think Zoe is what seven or eight. Yeah. If if a if a seven or eight year old can kind of be that selfless and do something to help somebody else, then we should all be able to make those kinds of decisions. And for those who don't know, locks of love, uh, people cut hair and they use that hair to make uh, hair Wigs. pieces. That's right. For people who are dealing with chemo and lose their hair mm-hmm. for that kind, of, so that right. they, you know, it's, it's natural. It's a wonderful and, thing that you did. Gary yeah. gave you. all his hair to yes. locks for love. He does well, it on a regular I, basis. You know what? Yeah. I'm. I'm I went on the record and said that if Locks of Love can't use the hair for any reason, yeah. that will make Gary a wig. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. See, That's I didn't know that. Because yeah. you guys are, the hair would have worked on him. Right. It would have worked on him. Yeah. That's That's nice, Gary. We've got 14 inches, and we're going to make Gary wow. a nice hair. Piece. That's a ton That's of hair. Sweet. That's a lot. 14 inches. Man, I mean, you must have looked like Cousin It. She, well, well, she could. could. pull that thing down to the front? Yeah, she could. Oh, my gosh. I, there are pictures. There's a video that I actually, I'll send you guys the link, and you can post it. Yeah. The, the funny thing is that that people are really upset. It, it's got like three thousand hits on it, and, wow. and there are random strangers who are very upset that I've cut my hair. Yeah, well, hair's a thing, you know. Like they're disliking the YouTube video and everything. Wow. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, uh, when I when I saw her, and and again this morning, I, I you were you were out last Friday after I gave you the crud from mm-hmm. the CPR class. Uh, and and I didn't get a chance to see you, but you walked in this morning, and I don't know who'd cut your hair, but it is absolutely uh, marvelous. It's perfect for your face. Thank yeah, you. They did it, a great it, job. The lights. Can I give her a little plug? Please sure. do. Her name Please is do. Casey, and she owns Cinema Salon on Old Trolley Road in Somerville, and she is... Uh, you know, beyond my wildest expectations. How did you, how did you pick this one? I mean, is that somebody who... Well, obviously, you didn't get your hair done before. No. I mean, she came recommended by a couple of our listeners and people who said, call Casey. She's the best. And I live in Mount Pleasant, so right. driving to Somerville to get a haircut seemed a little silly at first. But then I thought, as many people as as kind of passed her name along, yeah. I said, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Well, the bob, well, is it the bob or whatever you call it. Yeah, I mean, the cut great. is perfect, yeah. and, and the color, everything about it, it, it just... It oh looks awesome. It, I'm it's telling like you. one of those uh, wow. one of those talk shows where it's the after picture. Like a makeover. Yeah, yeah like a makeover. It, it looks really good. Yeah, it, incredible. So it, how do you send your hair? Do you just put it in a box and just mail it off to Locks of Love? Yeah. Or is there a local... No. You, you, just, well, you print out a form online. You go to the Locks of Love website. You print out the form. You fill it out. They ask that you bind it in a hair tie at the top and I the saw that picture, too, on, on Facebook. Right. Yeah. So, we, so we took all the hair. We braided it into a really long looked braid. looked like a big horse's tail. Like <laughs> a, like, it did. Exactly I mean, it what did. it looks wow. like. Yeah. No, it's a, a pretty accurate description. And we um, you know, filled out the form, and you put it in, in. The only thing they ask is that you don't put it in a regular size mailing envelope, but an actual box. Yeah. Yeah. Package. 
kind of some protect kind of, it as much yeah. as possible. So do they, uh, with your hair in particular, do they, do they have to wait till? I mean, is there some kind of waiting period till the alcohol uh, comes out of the hair? Right? Hopefully there's no testing involved. Uh, like, I don't okay. know <laughs> if, that, if they're that advanced or if they're just going to assume that. I think there are some things down at the end of that hair. <laughs> way back. <laughs> way back at the root. Yes. You know what I'm From saying? From three years ago and well, somebody congrats, in radio. I, I just wanted to tell you, number one, uh, congratulations on, on your, uh, your, your heart for, for doing that. And uh, congratulations on the new look. I yeah. think it's absolutely stunning. Thank you. And, I think and, it's stunning. and believe it or not, nice. TJ was one of the reasons that I wasn't going to cut the hair because you stopped me in the hallway and you said, you're not really going to cut it, are you? You said, yeah. it's, you know, you don't see oh, a lot of women with hair from, that long. Yeah. It's kind of got its own attitude. I had, I remember, I, I went through that when I cut mine. Yeah. Yeah, because it was, it was yeah. Uh, yeah, like that it's too. It's strange so. too. And because we were d- filming a video, the one thing is like, just don't cry. Just don't look like a moron. Just try to act as normal as possible. <laughs> Looks great. So thank I you. Can't Cannot tell you how I appreciate good. it, and uh, I mean, it's a TJ great cause. Has, has been free since he got rid of the mullet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's all been good, positive things. Right. Don't feel bad about it. You I look don't great. feel bad about it. You feel no. because I heard you struggling with it on the air one day. Like, I, I was. Nah. But no, you, you look good. Look good. Thank you. All right. And the video we'll have on the morning show page if you want to see it there. Uh, like link. it. Don't dislike it, please. Uh, no, go like it because like she looks it. lovely. Thank you. <laughs>